That stand there is being built by the multinational construction company Carillion. And Carillion are one of the construction firms integral in orchestrating the blacklisting of 3,214 trade union members. Carillion, and I heard him on the radio this morning, was saying blacklisting isn't carrying on in this town or anywhere else. Well, we've got news for them. It is carrying on. Three of us give our CVs in back in July. And they actually said we'd be took on within three months. We're six months on, and none of, none of us three have ever been took on or, or had a phone call for being took on. So if you can give it up, please, for Steve Jones and Eddie Allen, we are the Liverpool Three. As long as there is solidarity between everyone, we'll win the fight. But people on these building sites have got to come out. They've got to come out with us. We'll put as many protests where we can. But we in the backbone, them people that go in there, have got to realise they won't be able to pay mortgages, they won't be able to pay bills because we're working for eight and nine pounds an hour. We've, we've got to put everybody together. I want to read out a message of support from John McDonnell. It says, I fully support the demonstration against Carillion taking place before the game against Manchester United on Sunday at Anfield. As a Liverpool supporter, I want the club to urgently engage with the Blacklist Support Group who have been very vocal and loyal supporters to the club over the years. They have been unfairly blacklisted by Carillion and deserve a proper response from Liverpool FC. That's come from the very top of the Labour Party. There's still thousands upon thousands of families whose homes are being wrecked and shattered by these companies. This company in particular, Carillion, who admitted in the high court that they use a blacklist against Dave Smith. When I got my blacklisting file, Carillion are named on it. I took an employment tribunal against Carillion and on the very first day of the case, Carillion's lawyers handed the judge a statement from the company in which they admitted blacklisting me and they admitted that the reason they did it was because I was a trade union member who raised concerns about health and safety on their building sites. And they still lost in the employment tribunal because I worked for an agency rather than directly for them I wasn't protected. We're conducting this rally with persons from the Hillsborough Justice Campaign from the Orgreave Truth and Justice campaign and also the Shrewsbury Pickets campaign. It's a demonstration against Carillion but it's much more than that. It's actually a justice rally and we are proud as the Blacklist Support Group to align ourselves with the other justice campaigns who are present today. We're happy to be here today to support the Blacklisting campaign and to show not just Carillion but other businesses we are not afraid of big business. We only survive because you have our labour. We can withdraw our labour at any time. And I say that to Liverpool Football Club and any big corporation and organisation, we're not afraid of it. We've come so far along the road over the injustice of Hillsborough. But look across the road to that little shop in this run-down area. We did it from there. And before there, we did it from an even grottier shop up the road. And what that says to me is what you can do when you have the right people. When you know you're right, and you will not take no for an answer. You will not kowtow to the establishment. You will not be afraid. When they say there's nothing you can do, you go out of my way and not accepting that. It was the fans, it was the survivors of Hillsborough who got it to where it is today. It was a grassroots campaign. As you'll know, a lot of the miners that were arrested and fitted up during the miners' strike never worked again, so we, we know we stand in solidarity with you for that alone. I'd also like to say thank you to Hillsborough Campaign and all the support they've given us. It was their campaign that inspired us to launch our campaign back in 2012. 
when police appeared on television admitting that they'd falsified evidence and stitched the miners up at Orgreave, they were beaten up and fitted up and locked up. There was 165,000 miners out on strike for a whole year. 11,313 people were arrested. 7,000 miners had reported injuries at the hands of the police. 5,653 miners were put on trial for fighting to keep their jobs. 960 miners were sacked and never worked again in the coal fields. 200 miners were imprisoned. Two people were killed on the picket lines, David Jones and Joe Green. Another nine miners were killed collecting coal. Wherever we had pits in South Yorkshire now, we have business parks that have got Sports Direct, Greggs and McDonald's on them, paying the same miners' children fucking shit wages minimum wage but, uh, jobs on zero hours contracts. That's the legacy of that winning the Midas strike. If you can give it up for Arthur Money, please. Arthur. Arthur actually, um, one of his most significant things he did, Jordan, um, the Shows and Pickets campaign, he actually rekindled um, the campaign back in 2004. He put in an application for the Criminal Cases Review Commission. Back in the 30s and the the 40s, and the 50s, and the 60s. Um, one man a day died on a British, British building site. This guy came along called Desi Warren in the early 70s, and along with the Shrewsbury pickets, he campaigned for safer building sites and for a pound an hour. They fitted him up and they put him in the nick along with Ricky Tomlinson. But they ended up giving him a thing called the liquid kosh, and that led to Desi contracting Parkinson's disease which eventually killed him. This song's called My Name is Desi Warren. Up and down the nation He gave the workers strength and courage Up and down the nation He taught us to prevail He fought for safer building sites He argued for a pound an hour He was so successful They put him in the jail some workers' leaders were sent to royal garden parties. Some workers' leaders they go to the House of Lords. Some workers' leaders they go to jail, they go to prison. Which one sold you down the river? Which one fought your cause? God said, what's your number, boy? He said, my name is Desi Warren. That's your name, you fool. Your number's what I need. He said, my name is Desi Warren. You hear, my name is Desi Warren. The number, it belongs to you. He's only saying my name. The barristers said to me that I need to take the money that's on offer to me or like they're going to withdraw my legal representation. Well, I think they've got me wrong because it was never about dope to me. It really wasn't. I'm about principles. I've got principles and my principles count for now because I can't afford justice. Well, that's fucking bollocks, mate. I'm going to keep going until we get justice, not just for me, but for every single one of us that they've wronged. 3,213 lads. There's lads there. Lads, personal friends of mine, Terry McBride, Stevie Murray, Big Jim Laffer, Glenn Edwards, Mick Abbott, they've all passed away since the Consulting Association was busted in 2009. But for their memory, I owe it to them. They're personal friends of mine. They wouldn't have given up, and neither will I. I owe it to them to pursue this to a proper, proper conclusion. Thank you. There's people out here that know people that end up taking their own lives because of what was going on. This is what it comes down to. But the crimes of Carillion go much further. Remember that Carillion is one of the companies right now building football grounds in Qatar for the 2022 World Cup. And we heard about in Britain in the 50s and 60s, one person a day was dying. Currently in Qatar, we've got similar levels Today, yesterday and tomorrow, people will die 
building football grounds. Football supporters throughout the land support the action. Believe it or not, I was speaking to Chelsea supporters outside Stamford Bridge yesterday who support that. It's really great when you've got Dave Smith, a West Ham supporter here today. You've got Steve Aitchison, a Man United supporter. Because justice doesn't wear club colours. Your fight's our fight. I'll fight till justice is given to Hillsborough, to Orgreave and to the blacklisted construction workers. What we're doing now is coming together and we're saying to you, we know your game. We are not playing it. We are smarter than you and there are more of us than there are of you. And you're going to see more and more of this, different campaigns and organisations coming together. Well done to Roy and people for organising this. And also the All Grief campaign. Be bold. You need to be bold. We had nothing going for us except good people, honesty, and a sense of injustice, and also a sense of the truth. And that's how far it's got us. We did shape the establishment. But here's news for you. We're going to do it even more because we're not going away. Thank you. The guy said, what's your number, boy? He said, my name is Desi Warren. That's your name, you fool. Your number's what I need. He said, my name is Desi Warren. You hear my name is Desi Warren. Number, it belongs to you. There's only saying my name. The number, it belongs to you. Was only saying my name. The number it belongs to you. I was only.